In this video, we're going to use the EMC Virtual Storage Integrator combined with the VMware vSphere Web Client to provision a VMFS data store on a VMAX 40K storage array. And we're going to begin in the VMware vSphere Web Client by browsing to one of our hosts and then pulling up that host's action menu, choosing the EMC VSI plugin actions and selecting a new EMC data store. And when the new EMC data store wizard comes up, we're going to name that data store. And obviously you can choose whatever naming standard your organization uses. And we're going to specify the format as VMFS. If we have multiple arrays, we'll choose the target array that we're going to create this data store on, and then the appropriate storage pool. And we're going to accept the default format of VMFS5 specify capacity for the demo, at least, of 100 gigabytes. Then we'll review all of the settings and we'll click Finish. And now we'll watch it in vCenter for a few minutes. Obviously, we've condensed this process, but you'll see that it creates a LUN, then creates and formats a VMFS data store, rescans the HBAs, and mounts it to the host. Once that is complete, we can switch back over to the host view Take a look at the available data stores. And if we scroll down just a bit, you'll see there's the new data store that we just created with the virtual storage integrator. And it's that simple. From within the vSphere client, we can create a LUN, turn it into a data store, mount that data store to a host. And then again, from the vSphere client, we can now go check the data store's storage level attributes, block size, RAID level, total capacity, and use capacity. With the VSI from EMC, provisioning storage in VNX and VMAX is really that simple.